Sometimes our days hardly ever go as planned. Yesterday afternoon, I was at home working on the computer when I heard a loud explosion. Shortly afterwards, the electricity and the internet went. My initial thought was that a transformer had blown out. This has happened before, and when it does, the power is usually quickly restored, so at the time, I did not think much of it. I waited for a few minutes, and when the electricity still did not come back, I decided to change my plans for the day and go on the road to run some planned errands. These were errands I had intended to do later down in the afternoon, but since Rav was unable to continue his online classes, I thought it would be the perfect time to get the errands done. When I got onto the main road, I noticed a massive traffic pileup and I had to beg another motorist to just give me a squeeze through as traffic was really tight on both sides of the road and it would have been very difficult for me to get onto the main road without causing an accident if I had not begged one of the motorists to allow me onto the road. It turned out that the power outage was not caused by a transformer blowout but this ill-fated truck it was traveling in an easterly direction when it crashed that was a cause for the traffic pile up on a stretch of the road where traffic usually flows smoothly i parked the car in a safe spot and went closer to observe the scene of the accident i spoke to an eyewitness who is also a trucker and he informed me that the driver had exceeded the speed limit on that sweet stretch of the road. The truck apparently hit a pile of dirt that was lying by the side of the road and the driver lost control of the vehicle. The truck climbed the embankment, broke through a wooden light pole dislocating electrical, cable and telephone wires. It then slammed into a perimeter wall at the back of one of the houses before rolling back onto the road, resting on its top, wheels dangling in the air as you will see in the footage. By the time I had arrived on the scene though, the driver was already transported to the hospital and from what I heard, he should be out very soon. Just by looking at this wreckage, it is a real miracle that that was the actual case. You would think that not even an ant would have been able to make it out of this alive. The back section of the house that it damaged was covered in soothe. It appeared as if the truck had caught fire and burnt the nearby bushes and grass. I did not see any fire or smoke coming from the truck though. A section of the truck was seen on the roof and I believe the battery from the truck also landed on the roof. It is a good thing none of the occupants of the house were chillaxing or hanging out clothes in the backyard at the time or else today the narrative would have certainly been different. The entire front section of the truck looks like it was deliberately crushed by one of those heavy-duty rollers. All I could see were wires. It does not even give the appearance that this moment before the accident was once a working motor vehicle. The owners will be able to salvage very little from it, if anything at all. The back section on the other hand looks stable enough to be reused. As I said before, it is sheer miracle that the driver and the one passenger that was in the truck managed to exit this wreckage alive, sustaining only a few broken bones, minor cuts and bruises. They should definitely be counting their lucky stars right now. 
getting the record to turn the truck back on the wheels was high drama as navigating over the wires to connect the hooks from the record to the straps placed on the truck to lift it in that upright position took skill and quite a few adjustments the operator of the record appeared quite comfortable and he managed to complete the job successfully after more than two hours the entire wreckage was trucked away it did not even look like a major accident had occurred there moments before there was just a small oil spill which was covered with dirt by the firefighters and this enabled traffic to flow normal again commendations ought to be given to the police officers who were quick on the scene to direct traffic flow also kudos to personnel from the jamaica public service and flow telecommunications who were also quick on the scene to assess the damage and have the situation rectified in a quick enough time the jps contractors worked assiduously throughout the night and power was restored in the wee hours of morning for the holiday season approaching i implore all motorists to just be extra careful on the roads cut your speed and try as best as you can to extend your life and that of others.